Hello friends, Mel Mon is here and in this video I will tell you about all the build items in the game and how you can use them to counter your enemies. Uh, so this video may take long because I will be explaining all the items of all the items that are here. So watch this video till the end. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, I have already made a separate video. You can check that video by clicking on the i button on the top right corner or in the link in or by checking in the description. I have given the link there. So first, starting with our support items. Here we have got the first tier item shield badge. What it helps you is before level two, all the XP or gold that you will be getting from the minions or by helping in the jungle monster. so that won't be uh, that will be given to your nearby allies so this is very good support item plus if you are on the last two heroes like fourth or fifth in the gold terms you will get some extra energy uh, then for our first item here is gemstone prism it is very helpful for those heroes who make shields like uh, ronan and kalops tn or you can say groot also because what it helps you is it also gives you a friendly i mean it also gives a 2 second shield to friendly heroes also for the next item this is helpful for the tanks because it gives you energy resistance armor also and the hp regen also not only to you for your nearby allies so this is best for your tank heroes then for the regeneration cradle it gives you a 10% cooldown re reduction as well as 7% movement speed but how it is helpful is uh, as like currently in the game there are only mantis and cloak and dagger which provides a healing ability as a support heroes so this is only helpful for those heroes which provide healing abilities next we will come to our movement speed <clears throat> we have got seven boots here starting with the first one the armor boots it gives you 50% movement okay 50% movement speed is uh, provided by every boot here plus they are going to give you extra armor here plus reduces the physical damage taken so it is good against your enemies who have physical damage then for this one is energy resist it is good against the energy resist but the benefit of using this is that it provides you with 30% cool uh, reduction in control that means whenever you are going to get stun like i am getting a 1 second stun it will be converted into 0.7 second stun so whenever my enemies are like if they are energy heroes i will use it if there are like a uh, three or four heroes who can use crowd control on me i will definitely use this uh, boots then for the next is energy penetration whenever your opponents are building their energy resist this is the best weapon this is the best uh, boots to go for your energy heroes then the attack speed it is good for your uh, fighter assassin or marksman for marksman this is one is the best pick as a um, boots that it gives you 25% attack speed then the next boot they gives you 10% cooldown then the last rocket boots what it gives you is that uh, whenever you are out of combat that means uh, for i think uh, i don't know particularly the particularly the stats but when you are out of combat for like 3 or maybe 4 seconds then you get extra movement speed when out of combat gain 60 movement speed but out of combat means you are not uh, attacking anyone or neither you are getting any damage for like 4 second i am not sure about i maybe 3 second also 3 or 4 second so it will give you extra movement speed you can uh, see that icon there when you have these boots when it is activated your extra movement speed then for the jungle item if you purchase the first item it gives you like whenever you are attacking a jungle monster you will be healed after you kill it plus you will be getting extra gold and xp from him then if you purchase the second tier item your leech will be converted into um, x i mean overpower i mean second level leech or uh, it will be converted into your more powerful leech so you you will be able to use that uh, next level leech on enemy heroes to deal damage and also slow them down then we have got our first jungle item it is uh, used by the physical heroes mainly assassin fighter who are doing jungle or are doing solo lane also and for energy heroes this one is the best one the third shining aether then if you are a tank or a fighter hero as i have explained in my previous video when i use on thor where i use it on thor but for tank and fighters go for this one and this is one of the best item as it gives you 1200 hp and 200% hp regen which is not even given by 
uh, any defense items also except few and this one twilight beats these are best for the marksman or maybe the assess or assassin or fighter who depends on their attack speed because it gives you extra 50 50% attack speed mm, then going to our defense items so first i'm going to tell you that there are only three items which gives you uh, energy resist and rest are going to give you uh, armor also except one so first talk about energy resistance this is a cloak of leviation it gives you energy resist but the most uh, good thing about this item is that it gives you immunity to one ability every 40 seconds for example the luckiest example will be like groot is going to hook you inside a turret or maybe uh, towards him at that time if your cloak of leviation is activated that means you won't be getting hooked by him because you are immune to any one ability at that time the second item for energy resist is deadly phantom deadly phantom gives you like whenever you are not taking any damage for 5 seconds it gives you shield so when you get a shield uh, i mean you get a shield like 200 plus 75 into level that is a lot of shield and this is the only item that gives you maximum energy resist then for the third item of energy resist it is a goblin mask it gives you dual resistance that means it gives you armor and as well as uh, energy resistance plus it gives you an active skill also there will be a button of like a goblin mask there whenever you use it it gives you it i mean it increases your armor as well as uh, energy resistance <coughs> for four seconds but uh, the good thing is also that whenever you are crowd control you can also use it at that time mainly when i like use tanks i'm confused about what should i build next like my uh, opponents are mix mix of doing both of that both kind of damages then i purchase the dual mask <clears throat> next going up to the physical uh dam physical defense like armor first one is the glorious armor use this when you think that your team is not that good uh like they are not even clearing the waves because what uh, this uh, what uh, passive this item gives you is uh, you deal energy damage to all the nearby enemies that means like uh, if you are if there is any enemy or any opponent enemy like minions is near to you they will uh, take damage of 50 plus 2 into level of your hero but if there are non enemy hero it is going to deal double damage that means why for clearing minion waves this is the best item it also helps you to clear jungle fast also then for the next starlight armor starlight armor is a very aggressive kind of defensive item because after using any of your physical i mean any of your ability your next basic attack is enhanced that means it is going to deal extra 50 plus 10 into level plus 5 percent of bonus max hp and as you know that tank heroes have the maximum hp in the game so it is going to give you one hell of a damage reducing your ability but it has a 1.5 second cooldown so next physical item are the vibranium suit vibranium suit gives you the maximum armor in the whole game it gives you 320 armor plus it is best to counter the late game marksman as what is what it do is that it counters the basic attack which whatever is done on new basic attack it will deal a little bit damage i mean it will uh, reflect back that damage <coughs> plus it is going to reduce the attack speed of any enemy by 50 per 15 percent in the 450 yards of your range then the next item for uh, physical defense is captain america shield what it is going to do is whenever you are getting any physical damage it is going to increase your armor so uh, like um, this is also very good to uh, for a late game because in the late game physical damage is a lot of there of the my I mean, enemies plus these two items are best to counter the late game marksman damage then for the last item where it is yeah this one i can't pronounce it name it is mejing jord uh, so what it gives you is it gives you maximum health in the whole game 1600 hp and 30 percent healing if received 30% increased healing received but it is going to give you is whenever you are out of combat for 3 seconds that means you are not dealing any damage plus you are not taking any damage so you will get a healing that means you don't have to go to the base to recover your health you just go and hide somewhere in the bush or maybe not taking any damage in the map you are directly going to regenerate uh, purchase it as your last or maybe last second item if you want to purchase or it is best item for those tanks heroes 
who don't consume any energy to use their abilities because when are you, when they are going to go to the base is only at the time of uh, whenever they whenever their hp is low and they have to recover health they have to go to the base but if they have got this item meeting jord then just by standing a little bit of time there they are going to recover their health so for the energy item before that i am going to tell you that uh, you know about the life steal that uh, whenever you deal damage you are going to recover health also there are only three items to counter that uh, life steal first one is in the tactic this is a wound what it is going to do it is going to reduce their healing effects received by uh, i mean by 50% for 4 seconds this is the maximum reduction in the life steal i mean whenever someone has a life steal this is the best counter but if you are not using the wound there are only two items one is in the attack that is i am going to tell you when i am going to discuss that attack list but first for the energy list it is the casket of ancient winters uh, whenever you deal any damage of uh, like energy damage on your enemy it is going to re- uh, reduce their uh, th- healing effect by 35% for 4 seconds now next we will come to this arc reactor this is the best item to purchase for the first item for those energy heroes or you can purchase it later if you think that your team is not giving you blue buff uh, what it does is uh, it gives you a lot of ep regen plus whenever you help in ko your enemy hero it restores your uh, 20% max 20% of your max ep regen plus uh, and also reduce the cooldown ultimate by 10% 10% then for its second tier item you can purchase it on your tank heroes or fighter heroes if you think that your uh, energy is running out uh, fast this is very good as it gives you energy attack plus 50% of ep regen that is a lot and at the end you can always sell it it is only of 400 so it is good to have one then for the energy attacks first is the wind of batum what it gives you it gives you the maximum energy attack in the whole game it is 35% energy plus 35% energy attack also then for the area damage it is going to do a like of a blue a mark on that area wherever you do deal damage with your ability it has though 8 second cooldown so whenever enemy hero go towards that blue mark or in that blue mark they are going to take damage in the divine wings what they are going to deal is uh, they are going to give you an active active skill like a button they are like goblin mask as i have explained earlier it is going to give you an um, button extra button whenever you uh, use it it uh, you are going to be like a fast kind of movement like a blink in a particular direction though i don't know at what direction you go because uh, once i was using to escape from the enemies and instead uh, after using it i went in in the direction of the enemies so maybe it helps you to chase enemies not to escape loki scrupter this is the best item if you have got uh, enemy heroes who have a lot of energy defense so it gives you energy penetration this is best for those tanks who have got a lot of energy defense then the venus cannon uh, it is like your basic attack will be enhanced for those heroes who uh, who have a lot of like uh, less cooldown on their skills like jubilee is a one hero or you can say emma frost is also a hero they can spam their skills so this is very helpful for them at as it gives you extra damage your basic attack is enhanced after using any of your abilities next one is the eye of agomoto it is going to help you like uh, freeze in that particular uh, place you won't be able to move nor you will be able to uh, use any of your skills but uh, you will be just freeze there for 2.5 second you will become untargetable so this is best kind of uh, i mean this is the best item for those uh, energy heroes whose team is not helping them out i mean whose uh, if your tanks are not protecting you this is the best one but it is a double edged sword because for example if you press this button at the lo- wrong timing like when your damage is needed but you went like untargetable and you can't even do any uh, you can't even deal any damage so uh, use this carefully it helps you a lot when you are getting like you are hp is low you are uh, coming inside your ta- turret i mean coming inside your tower 
and enemies become greedy and they just tower dive to uh, kill you but then you put then you click on this button you go untargetable for 2.5 second and maybe they get killed your enemies may get killed then this one is energy leech it is like of a life steal for energy heroes plus this last item you can also purchase this for the first item as i have uh, explained you for the arc reactor because it gives you ep region but why this as a first item because it gives you uh, like you are going to deal 60% of the target's remaining hp damage that means it is uh, going it is the best item to kill tanks now for the attack heroes for attack heroes uh, first time going to tell you the anti region that uh, to counter the life steal this is the himdal sword it gives you like whenever you do physical damage on the enemy their healing is reduced by 35% for 4 second but what is also like uh, there is also one good point in this it gives you uh, energy resist as well as after taking your i mean when your hp is below 20% you gain a shield immediately and it absorbs 525 plus 100% of the bonus physical attack that matlab that mean that you you have got at that time so this is a lot of shield that you get so now in order from the first uh, Pellet blade is best item for the heroes who have a lot of attack speed like uh, marksman also you can also use them on heroes like blade they depend on their attack speed uh, then next these three items are really good are really good for the uh, attack speed these three uh, valkyrie bow silent hunter and sky shadows i mainly prefer sky shadows against the silent hunter because it gives you 7% movement speed though their critical damage hit is i uh, mean this is 30% but the good part about silent hunter is that whenever you deal a basic attack in every 6 seconds it is going to deal damage to the uh, five heroes and this sky shadows only deal additional damage to two enemy heroes so silent hunter is very good to uh, clear the minion waves fast along with the heroes also it is going to help you in team fight a lot but because it gives you uh, 7% movement speed that's why i prefer this one but it is your choice then this one valkyrie bow it gives you attack speed as well as the life steal and there are only two items in the attack list that gives you life steal first is the valkyrie bow uh, plus valkyrie bow is the first item that you need to purchase on the marksman and all the heroes who uh, depend on their attack speed <clears throat> and the second item that gives you life steal is jewel blade Dual blade also gives you uh, one extra thing that whenever you are on max HP, so additional life steal will be converted in, into the shield. That is 100 plus 40 into level of that hero. So this is also helpful for those who need like shield and uh, or, and life steal also. Then for our next item, this is a storm breaker. It, this is the best first item to purchase for your fighters. Then this. Uh, next item uh, this is very helpful for heroes like who don't have that much of a blink skill because what it is going to do is it reduces the movement speed of heroes by 40% but if you are a ranged hero like marksman then it is going to do only 20% and next is the titan's glory titan's glory is the best counter to all those crowd control heroes like uh, when i'm using star lord and my opponent are hulk uh, maybe Hulk, Captain America, uh, Scarlet Witch, Strong. So to counter their uh, crowd control, so I don't caught up at that time. Uh, this is the best item because for two seconds it gives you immunity to all crowd controls. So, but you have to be careful because it has a 90 second cooldown. So you you need to make decision uh, that whose crowd control you have to uh, you have to avoid. Then I have already explained the Heimdall sword. Now, next item is Gun Grinner. It is very helpful as it gives you uh, armor penetration for a late game. As you, if you are using marksman, fighter, assassin, and your enemies like tanks have a lot of physical defense, so this is the best item to go for, like for killing them. Then next is the Night Sword. Night Sword is the best item if you have got a low skill, uh, low skill cooldown. Because what is going to deal is like after using any of their abilities, the next bit basic attack will be enhanced. That is very good thing. 
For the next item, God Slayer, this is the best item to purchase for last or last second item. Uh, as what it does is, it, uh, it whenever you deal uh, damage with your basic attack on a hero whose HP is less than 35%, it is going to deal extra damage. And whenever uh, that enemy is KO'd by either you or any of your ally or in whatever situation, so the cooldown is uh, resetted. Otherwise, the cooldown is 10 seconds. Like uh, there are three enemies. If you are going to attack the first person, is its skill is I mean its special is activated. But if you directly change your attack to another person, so you have to wait for like there is 10 sec 10 seconds cooldown. Next item is the dual dagger. This is also a good item to purchase for the second item for your. Uh, second or third item for your assassins or fighter as it going to ignore the enemy armor equal to 30 plus uh, 4 into level whatever of your heroes but it is very helpful because it gives you 7% movement speed plus 15% cooldown reduction now for our last item it is immortal glaive immortal glaive is really good item for both attack and defense as well as whenever in two seconds you get damage which is like 25% of your max HP you instantly get a shield and a 50% attack bonus for four seconds that is uh, like very helpful when you are going to play uh, in a 1v1 or 2v2 or 2v1 situation also like you instantly get a shield you instantly get an attack bonus also and like you can turn the tables but it has a 90 seconds cooldown so you have to be aware of the situation when to take this risk thanks for watching this video i know you really uh, learned you learned a lot from this video so please like this video and yeah don't forget to share this video because uh, you don't want to get noob allies when you are playing in a solo queue plus share it with your friends and most importantly apply these things which i have taught you in this video like how to counter uh, the opponent's build so you can better improve your gameplay and yeah don't forget to subscribe this channel as i upload daily videos okay bye